What up? Ahoy! We have a song about cheese here in Finland. You must send that immediately. I did hear recently a song about pizza in Dutch. It's quite funny, actually. I don't know why Dutch people are so good at doing weird songs that make no sense. Hola, supermercado de la bancos por aquí. I found a game that is quite weird. Crossover of goat and cheese simulator. No, it's literally a language learning first person shooter. Does that make sense? It doesn't. Does it exist? It does. I'm kind of curious, but you guys, what kind of language learning content do you consume? Is there any, any specific creators? Yeah, I like this music though. It's kind of good. The game is literally called Linguist FPS. Now, the million dollar question, what language are we doing? There's a lot of options actually. There's Spanish, Japanese, French, English, German, Portuguese, Korean, Russian, Ukrainian, Italian, Chinese, Polish, and Swedish. Let's try Polish. It's welcome. Um, uh, nice to meet you. I am your friend. Przyjaciu. I remember that. Miło mi cię poznać. I remember some Polish. Polish sounds fun. Pronounce it weird. I think it was in a formal kind of way. Ciao. Let's do it. I guess we have to do the training though. Wow. Gotta be in sniperski. Otak. Oh yeah, baby. Granatnik. Granatnik. Pierdziele. Uważaj. It would be nice. I mean, I guess it's part of the game, right? To understand. But is that like danger? Be careful. Or is that like fire? Literally. I got no fucking idea. I would I would like to have some feedback on that. Kamizelka. Kamizelka. <laughs> this is Kamizelka. fucking Spanish. Bardzo przydatna. Lekarstwo. Nice. Lekarstwo. Pełne zdrowie. Health, I guess, right? Like na zdrowie. Napój. What I do? What are these words? Pivo is beer, I know. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We got the ser. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Nice. Mm, yeah. Herbata. Yeah. Nice. Fritki. I've heard this. Is that turkey? That's the most Polish word I've ever heard in my life. Szczęście. It's got like every Polish thing at the same time. Hamburger. I stole this word. I mean, I think every language stole that word. Is there any language where you don't call it something close to hamburger? It's just a stolen word. Kurczak is chicken. Okay. It looked like a turkey leg. Wait. Dwa is two. J is three. Pięć is probably piat, which is five. Jeden? Adin? Of course. One, two, three, five. Wow. That makes sense. I mean, Hungarian and Finnish break all of the rules. It doesn't really count. Let's do colors. Oh fuck, I forgot colors in Russian. I knew a couple. Zelony and uh, whatever. Czerwony. Yeah, that's similar to the Russian one. Niebieski doesn't ring a bell. Bind me, get hit. Oh, but that's just bread something. Bind me is bread. It's probably like uh, pan relleno. I don't know, like filled bread, something like that. Okay, let's let's see again. I know this one. I know violetowy. I don't know this one, but if I see it, I'll remember because it's the long ass word with the arancha. It's actually easy to remember. It's pom, which is apple, arancha in Italian, and chove because it's fucking Polish and everything ends like that. Pomarančowy. Białe. Białe. Czarny. Czarny. Brązowy. This one I'll remember. Żółty. Żółty. It's Joltium. I remember this one. Okay, let's just do it. I'm probably gonna fuck up, but who gives a f Otwórz niebieskie drzwi. Niebieskie Dobrze. is this one. Otwórz zielone drzwi. Let's open the green door. Dobrze. Yeah. Czerwone Brawo. drzwi. You can actually memorize it. It's the same order as last time, if I recall correctly. Jolteon. Niebieski. Oh, it's in E. Right, of course, Golubo Boy. But it's not even close. Niebieski. Sounds like Nieve in Spanish. Czerwone is the red one. Bardzo dobrze. I can just ignore them, I guess. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Now numbers. Ukrainian light blue is black. 
Why is it so different though? Why do you guys not agree on a blue color? Use labs. I think I know them, but I mean, it's similar, I guess. Dva, tři, čtyři. Fucking nasal vowels, man. Bion, šest, šest. That was like chest, actually. Siedem, siedem. It's siem vosiem in in Russian. Dievyang, zero. This is easy. I think I can speak on this. Jeden, dva, tři, pięć. Zero, osiem, sześć, trzy. I'm gonna mix seven and eight a lot. I can guarantee that. Siedem, osiem. I think so. Jeden, osiem, dziewięć, siedem. Osiem, dziewięć, siedem. Brawo. Okay. Dobra robota. Good job. When I did the Polish speed run, I was struggling differentiating some of the sounds. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm more experienced now or if it's that this girl speaks very, like, clearly. But you can very clearly see the difference in the sounds. You can clearly hear the sh versus the sh. So it's six and nine. Yeah. Nice. 69. Nice. Dobra robota. Bask Icelandic pigeon. I know it exists. I don't know anything about it. It's gotta be the most fucked up thing in the entire world. Basque is already top three most fucked up languages in the world. And I don't think Icelandic is that easy. So it's gotta be weird. Yeah. Finally. Directions. Uh, do I know how to say up, down, left, right in any Slavic language? I don't think so. Skasuvki. Okay, so it's lev. I'm just gonna assume it's left. Am I wrong? We'll figure that out. Bravo. I'm not wrong. Leve prave. Okay. Prave. Leve. That's easy. Speed run. Uh huh. Now what? Vlevo. Spredne. V pravo. Prosto. Prosta je ta. V pravo. This is easy. Prosto. Slenik isn't that hard, it just sounds the same with Danish. Gureum. Does that sound like up? Or down? I guess down. Are you stupid or something? So gore is up, actually. And down? Duel. <laughs> that combination of letters, anyone who has no experience with Polish is always going to be fucked up by the O with the accent and the L with the thingy. Du. What's the name of the, the city? It's a famous city in Poland with a short name that has those letters as well. And people just don't know how to pronounce it. Łódź. What? What the f- North Germanic languages could probably be classed as single language, heavy dialects due to it being more of a continuum. <sighs> I mean, maybe. The problem is always, where do you draw the line between a language and a dialect? It's a weird definition. I like to compare it with like Spanish, Catalan, Italian, Portuguese. Because you know, those are supposed to be close enough and it's very political. For example, here in Spain, there's the Galego, the Gallego, or Galician, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's almost literally written Portuguese, but pronounced in Spanish. If you speak Portuguese, I think you understand all of it, literally. And if you speak Spanish, you probably understand like 99.99% of it. Jawanya. Okay, so it's also you must, because it ends in sh, so it's conjugated for you. Musisz iść. I'm just gonna guess it's straight again. Yeah. Skoczyć. Wait, what? How do you pronounce that? Musisz skoczyć. Is uh, jump, I think. Bravo. Jump, jump. Musisz kucnąć. Okay, these are a bit harder. I mean, the other ones are hop and dig, so that was quite easy. Native Finnish speaker, I can understand more Estonian than Stadin's lang- Oh, the Helsinki dialect, and it's still Finnish language, and I can understand it. There you go, yeah. I heard somewhere- I know in Finland there's a lot of people that speak Swedish, but like the Finn Swedish is also quite different from Swede Swedish. I understand it doesn't have like the, the pitch- Uh, Scotchish. That was- It's hard to pronounce that C though. It's very soft. Ch versus ch. Bravo. Good snunch. Scotch it. Good snunch. East. East. Good snunch. 
Scotch, Scottish. Scottish is jump. Lacks a pitch accent, doesn't differentiate between P and B, D and T, G and K. Like we were just shitting on Swedish and how they just don't care about letters sometimes. That sounds insane actually. That reminds me of Dutch though. Dutch, D and T, especially in the end, are kind of the same. And G and K remind me of Korean a little bit. East. It's funny because I stopped to speak and then I just forget what I was doing. Scottish. And East. Nice. Well, we're almost done. I know some of these. Let's see if I remember actually. I'm just kind of going. This. I I learned this in Duolingo. Okay, maybe I remember read. If I remember read, I remember book. Uh, I forgot both. Pisiecik książki. I remember that. Książka. Pistolet. Kristal. Robot. Robot. That's the original one. Nice. You're wrong. Jevo. I think I've never heard that one. Dom for sure. Pinionze. Pinionze. Szczęśliwy. The what? Szczęśliwy. <laughs> Is that happy? That doesn't sound very happy to me. Szczęśliwy. Szczęśliwy. What the fuck, bro? Smutny. Łóżko. Łóżko. Świat. I think I've heard this one. Klucz. Mężczyzna, of course. Kobieta also. Pająk. Duolingo gave me this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I think that's it, actually. I'm gonna miss so many of them. Okay, if I see all the consonants, I'll just go for happy. I don't even know what the word is. And these I know, okay. We're ready, 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 go! Speed run. Boom. Boom. Uh, happy, yeah. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Uh, money, crystal, sad. Uh, this one, this one, that one. See what I mean? Like, I kind of know the positions now. Dom, pistolet, tile. Cholera, what? Uh, this one. And this one. Fuck, I missed. Oh, fuck you. There we go. I love the barzo dobrze. Uh, that's a tree. And that's a world. Got him. Łóżko. Smutne. Pająk. Klucz. Łóżko. Sprytnie. Got him. Okay, I think that's it. I feel like it's just like a demo kind of thing. Oh, whatever. Zero, six, eight. Six, eight. Bravo. Otwórz czerwone drzwi. Czerwone was red. Bravo. I forgot colors already. Bravo. Complete. Cheese. Niam. Niam. Let's get that one. Now the question is, with a game like this, some of these sentences, some of these things, I don't know what they mean. But if you give me the translation, then I'm probably not going to learn them. So what what is the best way to approach it? I don't fucking know. 69, nice. Complete tutorial in every language? I mean, I don't think I can today, because that's going to take a while, but I could do a couple more maybe. Scottish, yeah, of course, this one. Scottish duel was down. Zielone. Dude. Boom. Boom. Shinshliwe. Got him. Świetna robota. Białka. You know what? It makes sense to do it in a lot of languages because then you understand what they're saying. Because when you eat the steak, it says something about protein, right? Dobry pomsu. And that's a good idea, right? When you grab the helmet, it's always a good idea, I think. You see what I mean? You can learn that. So let me do it in a language I kind of know. Something like Italian or... I mean, I could do it in Spanish if you want, but that, I don't know. I don't even know. So that's gonna be fun. 1897. Scottish again? Why is it always Scottish? Górę. Polska górą. Dobrze. Otwórz fioletowy. Fioletowy. Zastrzel książka. Książka. Robot. Dobrze. Bardzo dobrze. Okay, that's it with the tutorial. Got him. Sakhalin dialect of Ainu. What the fuck you talking about? Oh, this is... Do I have to do this? Come on, man. That's it.
It's it's very popular languages. It's like Spanish, French, Italian. We did the last two already, Swedish and Polish. So I guess we get to Chinese now. No.